Hi, I'm Anna Maria de Freitas, owner of the Harrison House Suites, Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, San Juan Island. Today I'm going to show you how to make some cheesecake bites. I have actually a specialty pan here. This is a, looks like a little cup, cupcake or muffin pan, but it has removable bottoms. So it's like for a spring form pan, but they're minis. If you don't have anything like this, you can actually use uh, muffin pans or cupcake pans with a liner. It works just as well. So this is very much like a traditional cheesecake. We're going to use some graham crackers to make a crust. If you'd like to cheat, you can use some Nilla wafers. Just pop one of them right down there as your crust, and that'll save you a little bit of time. So a few options here. So I'm just going to grind my graham crackers. Okay. I'm going to take out a couple of those rogue pieces that didn't quite get pureed. Put that in there. And then I have some uh, melted butter. And we're going to add that and give it a good mix. Sure, I've got two tablespoons of butter for about four graham crackers. And then I put a little bit of cooking spray on here, and about a teaspoon or so of graham crackers for the crust. I'm going to push them down. So now just push them down so that you're going to get a good firm crust. So I have a preheated oven, and as soon as I finish these, we'll pop them in the oven while we make our filling. So you can see how the vanilla wafers would be a little bit easier, but not too bad. So we have our crust ready to go, and I'm going to put these in a 350 oven for about eight minutes just till they begin to turn golden brown. Okay, so while they're cooking, I'm going to work on the filling. You can do this in a stand-up mixer or a hand mixer. I like doing it in a food processor. So I have eight ounces of cream cheese. And I always also like to do things with uh, everything at room temperature. You get a better emulsion. So your cream cheese and a little bit of sugar. I'm going to go in first. Then we're going to stop and we're going to scrape down the sides. So we're going to scrape down the sides. And we're going to let it mix again until it's well combined. Then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I have two eggs. I'm going to add them one at a time. Just till they're incorporated. And again, we're going to scrape down the sides again. seconds here. And then we're going to add our last egg. And one more scrape down. And there we go. I'm going to go check on our crusts. Okay, so we have our baked crust. We've also let them cool a little bit because we don't want to put the hot, the filling onto a hot crust. And I'm just going to pour this into a little measuring pitcher to make it a little easier to pour into the pan. We're going to pour them about three quarters because they are going to rise. As you can see these here, they did rise and they fell, but they created a wonderful little canyon there where we're going to use to fill our 
blueberries. And as I say, you can do the same thing with a cupcake. You can use the liner, the paper liner, either with a traditional crust or a Nilla wafer. I think we can squeak one, one more out of here. And then for presentation, you can just peel the paper off and they work just as well. Um, sometimes we like to spray the paper lining. It just makes getting them out a bit easier. Okay, perfect. So these are going to go in a 350 degree oven for about 15 uh, to 20 minutes till they just sort of puff up and begin to crack. And then you're going to pull them out and we're going to cool them as I did with these, usually preferably overnight. And then I'm going to show you now how we can finish these off. So as I say, they, the bottoms just pop out, so they're pretty easy to take out of the pan. And then they have these wonderful divot in here, which will be perfect to fill with the berries. And a little bit of mint here for garnish. I hope you enjoy your blueberry cheesecake bites. Bon appetito. This is Anna Maria from Friday Harbor. Mm -hmm.